Yeah, seven RNA. Anyone? All right. So inside the machine, right? Come, gentlemen. It has these blades. Four of them is actually inside here, right? This is what cuts the grass. Now, when the machine is operating, right? This this thing here spins. You see those two gears? These? Hmm. So in effect, give me a piece of grass. What happens? Just push a piece of grass in there. What happens, right? Is that when the machine is operating, you push the grass there. When this spins, it draws the grass in. You see that? Yeah, towards the blade. Towards the blade. And then as it draws it in, the, it, it cuts the grass. Okay. And there are four blades here to cut the grass. Mm -hmm. Now, Look. as you can see, it's not a machine to cut big pieces of board, make wood chips, and do things like that. It is a grass cutter and small forages. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to put any big piece of stick or everything in there because it is going to dull up the blade. Mm -hmm. This machine will work for all two years without even sharpening the blade. Okay. But if you push a lot of heavy stuff in there, mm -hmm. you will have problems. In terms of cleaning now, the machine at, at some point, you, you will get debris and all kind of things jam up inside there. You have to clean it out every yeah. time you use it. Yeah. Every time you use the machine, you must check it, you know, sometimes the screws or anything slack up, you must always inspect the machine. Any machine you're using, you inspect it, check everything, then you start it and use it. It also has a gearbox on it. Over here is the gearbox. It's a manual gearbox. When it's in here, this position, this is neutral. Over this side is short. To put it in gear, right, you have to line up the gear. Sometimes you just come up and get the gear going. So this is when you want to cut the forage short, or if you want to cut it long, you have to and make it go in gear. Right? And long. Usually you want it long, you don't really need to make it fine. When you cut it long, when you put it on long, it's about, I think it's about three inches. It tend to be about three inches to five inches. When you put it on short, it's like two inches to one inches. Three inches is enough. Yeah. Because one of the things with the, with the ruminants is that you want different particle size in the stomach. That is why the different... Yeah, you don't... One of the things is that um, people use what you call shredders or shredding machines which beat the forage and, and, and mince it up very fine. You don't want it too fine, right? You want the grasses to, be ha to have different length as it go inside of the, the, the thing. Because it forms like, it forms different layer inside of the ruminants, which is what the animal requires. So you try to mimic what the, what the animal do out into the wild. Mm -hmm. He holds on to the grass and he tears it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. When he bite, he bite a little short piece, yeah. a little long piece, a little, you know, different length. Mm -hmm. But you don't want the forages to be cut up fine, fine, fine and minced up fine, fine, fine. And when you do this, and you, if you're feeding, back feeding, and you have it in different particle lengths, then it helps. But you can just imagine if you were to feed, back feeding, and then you grind up the forages fine, fine like dust, it's not good for them stomach. Okay. So that, that, that is it. So this is the gearbox. You start the machine in gear. This neutral thing here is really if you're cleaning it and you want to spin this independently or something like that, you put it in neutral. You just leave it in gear permanently. You don't, you, you don't bother move that or anything. Sometimes grass and things will go around in these areas. As I said, you clean the machine. So you understand how it works. So this spins, cut the grass, and it spits it out on this side. Now, don't push your hand down into here so right number one number two sometimes farmers put put a bag here they put something right here so to catch the grass you can't do that because when it start to full it jam the machine so you can put a like a 55 gallon drum put it like three six eight inches away from that when it fly out it just hits straight into the drum this is how i like using it actually let's have a drum here or you can just put it against a wall and make it hit on the wall, drop on the ground, and a tarpaulin or something like that. But don't put a bag over here and clamp it on over here. There's a farmer who you who are doing it like that and it jam up. And while the machine him keep doing it, he push him hand in here and take out the stuff and it chop off through him finger. Right? So don't ever put your hand inside the machine. 
right? It's dangerous. You must lock it off before yeah. you, you, you deal with it. Mm -hmm. So after you clean it and you do all of that, you can lock up this back and then, you know, you can start it. When you're putting the, 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 the porridges in the machine, you have to know your limitation. You can't expect to just jam in a, a whole heap one time. You put it with moderation and don't overload the machine. All right, so this is a normal engine, a normal gas four-stroke. It's not a two-stroke engine like chainsaw. So it's a, it's a four-stroke cycle engine, um, much like lawnmower engine and so forth. All right, so this, so it only uses just regular gas. And this is the engine oil. You put the engine oil in, in, in the arm. Um, well, it has one here and one here. The oil, well, I, I'll do it on this side because it's narrow. So the engine oil goes in here, and this one was overfilled. And this is a dipstick, and the dipstick show high right here, so. Which oil is this in it? It's regular oil. Um, 10 or um, like The 40 30 grade, 30 grade. 30 yeah, 30 yeah, 30 or 40 you can use in it, but this, okay. this is overfilled. All right, so when, when you're using the machine, right, this is to rev it. Yeah, it's over full. Yeah, so this is the rev, to rev the engine. Right? Now, it's a Honda. It's really a Honda engine, but it's the Chinese version of it. So all the Honda parts fit it. All right, so this is the choke. You carry it back this way, you draw it one time. If it don't start when you start it, when you draw it one time, you're doing something wrong. As it starts, you push this back. So this is the choke. This here is to turn on and off the gas. Usually you just leave it on all the time. But this is to turn on and off the gas. And this is the electric um, on off button. Any questions there? I want, you want me to go over that back again? Yeah. Where is the electric on? It's an on off to turn it off. Really and truly, these don't turn it off, you know. This is just the cover rate and all of these things. Okay. Right. So I'll go over it again. I'll start from this side. This is the on off. Right. So this is like your ignition key. So you turn it here to start it. But before you start it, you bring over the choke. You draw the choke right there. Okay. And you make sure this is on. This is for the gas. This is what makes the gas run and go into from the tank into the carburetor right so when it is here this is to rev it you're not you don't you mustn't buck it and rev it full blast somewhere around there you start it you don't really want to rev it so hard so once you draw this now it's going to start mm -hmm. as it starts you push back the choke this is the choke right and it run so it is there running you cut up your grasses you do all of that when you finish you turn it off and when you're ready to to cut the grass, it can turn up a speed article. If so desired, but usually when you start. So, 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 so good management now is when you. Wait, this is good management now. So, so let's say we're going to put up some grass here now, right? Moving. I see people do it all the time. They have some grass here, so, and they have some over here, so, and they have it all over the place. place. That don't make no sense. So, you cut up the grass now. When you're cutting up the grass, you turn the grass in the direction that you want it. So you have the, you turn them this way. Mm -hmm. And you lay everything down right here, so in a big pile like this. Mm -hmm. And you don't have them turn all, over. turn all over the place. You line them up in one direction for your cut. Mm -hmm. Everything line up and prepared. Right? Because remember, say you buy gas, mm -hmm. you buy this, that. And you, you want to hurry up and go do it after. Mm. So you get all of the stuff then. So you're not to be starting the machine and shut it off every five minutes. You line up your entire thing in one big heap. And the, the, the idea of it, stretch foot. Right? You can have it even closer to you. Maybe you want, you want to have some on this side, some on this side, so you can swing back and forth. Mm. Especially if you have somebody with you too. You know, that if it's a hole if you're doing one time, they keep shifting it to you and bring it into the direction that you want it. Mm -hmm. So you have to efficiently use the machine the best way possible. Any questions? Oh. All right, so we're going to start the machine. So you, you, you make sure this is on. 
you choke it and you start it. One draw. One draw, it's supposed to start. Seen. This is the first time they're seeing it operating yes. in up front and, and perfect. So we're bringing technology to in these areas that some people would be con considered as behind back a bush. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you see, one of the next things they, they say, you know, boy, it's too much work. But, you know, people carry them goat, go out into the bush. How long it take if you carry the goat to a bush, go time out? And come back. And then you come back in the evening now, bring him back and you know, lock him up, give him water and do all of that. If you have to go them in a pen environment or a like a small area, mm -hmm. that you say you go one hour, you spend one hour to go a bush and come back. You can cut the bush in I'll that one it. hour. And now I'll do something else next time. And you can right and you can now select the bush and select the good, the best feeding that there is to feed the animals. Mm -hmm. Because you carry a goat and your time up right there, so is that good forages? Does he have everything that he need to eat right there? So you don't even look. Mm -mm. You don't even you look. Don't see some green. You just see some green and you just mm -hmm. time up and you walk away. Mm -hmm. So what is the goat eating? So the condition will always not look good. Mm -hmm. Right? And people love to say that the, 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 the hybrid and the big breed goat them soft. Yeah, they are not soft. The thing is, they require more food, more nutrition, and they need better nutrition, better management. Now, these goat, when you tie out a little goat, he can just eat right here so alone and full in belly. Mm -hmm. But the bigger goat are going to need the whole right so he eat half. Mm -hmm. He don't have enough and rope to do it. The rope, not long enough, the rope long is not long enough to do it. And I see him saying, I know a gentleman, you know, him saying, lose. Million and had out a go the other day, you know. Mm -hmm. And when me I share share my experience with him when we come from the other day, I training and stuff. Yes. All him I tell me says a big man, you know. Him have him vet friend them, and he have this and he have that. And him I tell me say over training you know, that kid that feed him yes. and the mother and the mother mother go. And he said they said the kid they just healthy and bounce and then just dead mm -hmm. mother go dead. And every time I tell him it's like say do you him sound to me like you know what this. No, the yeah, because they have been friend them and he have yeah. every, every type of friend. But guess what? I'm going to tell you, man, I mentioned because. Oh. They, they, you know, I was, I, I was talking to a farmer in Ola the other day. And he has been following me and doing what I tell him to do. But he decided now that he's going to experiment and he's going beyond what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So, him end up, I think him saying got 70 odd kids born. And as the kid them born, he started to let them out and go out into the bush with them at the same time. And he said, Mr. Bernard, the rain come and all of that, you know. And I never realized it. You see, him touch me? Because it's the same thing just 43 kid. 43 kid dead. He said to me, he said, I will never make this happen again. Chesley, you see the kid now, sir? 43 kids. You know how I get the story? He was right there behind one of these machines. And mm -hmm. he came and buy the machine. machine. And he said, he said, this now reach me again. You remember you asked me about the price of the machine? Mm -hmm. How much you think for the three kids, man? Think about it. How much? It depends on the breed. Uh, no, man. Just, just pick, 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 pick the lowest one. money you want to pick. 43 kids there. And he said, I lose more than half of the animal them. 
and him said this way. Yes. 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 Him say, him say, a fraction of a million. Him say, him say, this, him say, this will never happen to me again. <laughs> him say, listen, me are going to lock up the kid them and grow them out because they have to, their immune system has not been developed as yet when they're young. That's what kill them off, you know. The immune system is weak. It's just like when you have a child. You can't carry your child and just leave him in your mother and carry him go do anything mm -hmm. you want to do. Mm -hmm. You have to nurture him when he's young and little by little you expose him to the world. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to do to keep them. And you see the mud and the keeping them in and the, the water. water you know, goat, the goat can't manage that. And a pig, a goat, mm -hmm. them can't manage them something. <laughs> so they are going to, the, the, the health is going to go down. Hmm? Them no, not in a water business no. and them not like rain. No, no. And go drink water. You can't go drink water. Maybe you could have tried pass on his big mentality and to the boat. <laughs> no, no, but but <laughs> it, it can't because you know to, I always tell people yeah. say a goat is a royal I know, I know, animal. I, know, I, know, I just you kidding. You understand? Know, yeah man, I know it's a royal animal, you know. Mm. Him 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 go up on top of the mountain, mountain and look down yeah. all of your down yeah, here. Yeah, so. that's true. Him not the pan of mud and a dirty no, business. No, and the reason that climb stone. Yes, and the reason them don't get themselves infested with worm, because they can't live up there and quite fine. Because when them do the, everything, are roll down. Mm -hmm. It don't stay up there with them. Mm -hmm. So they are always in a sanitary environment up on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. True, true. So, can you raise goat and 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 ground? Yes, if you're raising them up on hill top and have the drainage or everything, you can do it. Mm -hmm. But should you raise gro goat on a level ground like right here, sir? No. no. You can't do it in numbers. You cannot increase the numbers. Mm -mm. Right? Enough for them naturally. Because the more you increase that number, is the more the disease them increase, is the more all of the bacteria and everything, run. it just starts to run up, run up, run up. And yeah. and them them die. So yes, if you if you if you decide that you live here, if you have your boat them in a hillside environment, you're a little better off. Mm -hmm. You are better off up on the hill. President, mm. um, me and you, we have something to talk about. Yes, sir. Because you always encourage the farmers to, mm -hmm. if they have a little space, to put a two, two rabbit. Yes. And I hear you pushing the food security. I saw the article where you're saying to the farmers that, you know, the chicken that shot and all of these things, yes. we could replace it with rabbits. Mm. And I want to help you to echo that. Because we are in a time now where food security is so critical. Mm -hmm. So all the goat farmers now need to put a little thing in place where they have a little second income or a little, you know. So we are encouraging you to get a bees box or two. Well, you wouldn't get one. But at least two bees boxes and you start off with two bees Everybody is additional income and you don't take a whole heap of space. Right? It's a Bernard encouraging farmers to put two rabbit in palm as well because we're pushing food security and that is what this program that we're pushing in this community is about. Yes, we love the goats. Everybody know we have it to heart dearly. But we also have to put some backup systems in place. Just in case anything happen with the goats, there is something else there that you can fall on. Right? And so I'm um, a part of this general program in this community. We also introduce the beekeeping aspect. Um, the gentleman is on his way with the bees and we're going to install them behind the farm. And, and we'll do the training for the bees as well as continue the training with the goats and all of that. So I just want to end. Um, the beauty with rabbit that I want you to understand about rabbit meat. Rabbit is a very healthy animal to eat. Because if they eat any poison, any anything they eat that is poisonous, them drop dead. They're just easy to die. That's the thing with them. They can't manage. They have a um, what is the word? A monogastric type of stomach. Mm -hmm. And what happened? They can't they can't ease their body or can't pass gas or anything like that. So if they eat any it's not like a pig. Pig can eat poison and eat things that will end up in their um in the meat. Mm -hmm. yeah. While that is that can't really happen to a rabbit, they'll die. They die very easily. Dirty water, plants, whatever, then just die. So, but the beauty with rabbit is that you can feed rabbit on so much of these forages. I mean, right now I'm supposed to go visit a guy in Clarendon, and when you hear him talk about 
and it's the old timers that know it. Butter, mm -hmm. them have rabbit butter. Who here mm -hmm. can show me rabbit butter? See, nobody don't know it. Oh, Every no, eh? oh, no. Guess what? It's a, it's a, it's a tree. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have Canadian lettuce. Who know Canadian lettuce? You see, what may I tell you? These things were with the old timers in the past. Mm -hmm. Because rabbit meat was something that was was in swing way back. I was telling people the other day that chicken only come the other day. You know, it's not a long time, maybe about 50 years ago that this whole chicken thing came to be, you know, with the Jamaica boilers mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. thing there. And you know what the old timers used to eat is rabbit meat. Mm -hmm. Like out of the month, if you talk to a lot of the old timers, the ones that probably pass and gone, they will tell you that once every month, was rabbit mouth, was rabbit. So then we did chicken this every Sunday we are talking about. Mm. Yeah, one Sunday is rabbit, one is this, one is that, and, yeah. and they had different meat. So then we used to live good because they might eat all these different forages, yeah, all these, these different plants. The funniest and, thing is it? Hmm? The, the, the funniest thing that you bring up that is that you have two persons in our group mm -hmm. that um raise rabbit and they are trying to go into rabbit large yes yeah, they have about one person have about um some 30 and rabbit yeah and he's having some complaint with it what is because complaint? They, the complaint is that the, the young ones just keep dying and you can't find it the, the, the problem so there is a problem mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um there's another can person. be nutrition can be hygiene it can be there's a story that you're not here with because people. rabbits you have to give them clean clean water mm -hmm. the water them, them can't tolerate dirty water they have sure. is a clean animal mm -hmm. and the meat it, them said the meat is similar to chicken meat and it's a very healthy meat and it is very nutritious it, it, it is the way and guess what your input cost can be zero in terms of the feed yeah. your input cost can be can, can be so me are young right now I can, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to right now. You must you must expand the rabbit is also on there. Yeah, it's right now. Really expand the rabbit thing. I'm trying to push people to, to, to get involved. People are talking to me, but where is the market? Where is the market? If you don't have the goods to sell, you can't ask for the market. And they are risk involving everything you do. It's not like the good market where everything is just there and you can just endless amount of sales. But you try and find out all the different forages that are good for rabbit. You know, like all the, the, the tricantera. We need to get some of that plant to them, the, the mulberry. Mm. And them have some native bush inside here, right? That is excellent feeding for the, rabbit. The, the, the Spanish negro. Spanish negro. Um, and there's another one that we have around there. Yes. Right? I'm going to have my, my place that water mango grass. sweet. I don't even know the name. I think I think white, even um, from, I think the hagwis. You know the hagwis. Yeah. Hagwis. They have another name for it. Hagwis. Yeah. Yeah, when, when they call it, 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 it like a white. Yeah, hagwis. They can call it. They have another one. Redhead. You know redhead. Yes, sir. Rabbit. Yeah, Rabbit. Yeah, Rabbit. Yeah, understand. No. All of these forages. You have them along the everywhere you go, you're going to see these bushes that you have that is native to yeah. your to your thing. And you can feed on it. Find the camera. I see them guinea grass there. Yeah. I see them guinea grass in Canada. Yeah man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so here the thing with grasses now. Yeah, grasses is great. But the grasses is like it, it, it's like what about six to eight percent protein content. It have, and you have to pick the grass at a certain if the grass gets old, it's not good. If it okay. is too young, it's not good. You want the grass to grow and when it just before our time, that's when the protein content is highest in grass. So when it got much green and young. Yeah, when it's too young, what happens when grass is too young? Yes. The nitrogen content come up into the tip of the grass. It's very, very high in come, nitrogen. Come, come, come yeah, here. Don't go down there. Yeah, it's very high. Patch of land that you have down there, down the river you show me on the, on the phone. My advice to you would be to put off even a little section. And that section, you plant these grass and these plants for your rabbit or, or for your, and your goats. You said this so section. You don't have to go far. Type of, you know? It's probably the good for goats without you never know. And you can also give you some other seeds and stuff too. Good what you do? You test, you test, you test. If you have goats, you look at what the goats like eating. You follow the goats and you watch them. And whatever the goats eat, then now you know it has a potential for the rabbit. But but there's a thing there. 
what happens is that some plants have poison in them, have like a tannin in them, so it can tolerate it, but um, rabbit cannot tolerate it. Like moringa, you have to give them moringa is like a medicine. You can give them a little, but you can't overfeed it. Wild tamarind, um, quick stick. Um, so, so these plants have poison in them, and it's something that you shouldn't really feed rabbit on, right? Some plants are poisonous, but the old timers have a whole heap of plants. A whole heap, when I tell you, they, they, they know the plants. Every time I go into a rural area, especially in Clarendon, Clarendon people still carry in the swing with the rabbit and the bush them that can be fed to rabbit. Um, they make them look like um, fruit, so you can't give them a lot of banana, right? Banana. No, 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 not a lot. You can't, but they love it. Yes, they love it. It's almost like giving a child carrots. Just like carrots, they love carrots, but, but it's not good to feed them on carrot either. Okay. You know the reason why? Because carrot have poison in it. Because you're getting the carrot out of fields that are not natural. Sure. Pesticides, pesticides and, and all those things, things. Mm -hmm. and Chemical. it can kill them. Oh. Yeah, they, 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 they can't manage that. That's what I tell you. They can't manage any any food or carrot that might have pesticides. It will affect them. So I see people feeding rabbit on a whole heap of banana, I don't recommend it. I'm not saying you can't give them some mango, so I'll feed on mango, give rabbit mango and all that. But I wouldn't carry a whole and just feeding them on those things alone. Because it don't, it, because the, the fiber content is not there. Yes. You understand me? The fiber content is not there. And, and also remember that energy comes from fruits, generally speaking. The sugar cane, the energy, and energy is what produces milk. So when you're rearing your rabbit or your goat, when you introduce energy to the animal, especially if you have a milking animal and that you're feeding a kid, energy, things of energy like mango and you know anything like that, apple, right. all the sweet stuff is energy, mm. cause the females to produce more milk. Okay. Some plants actually restrict the, the, the amount of milk the, the animals produce. Um, Mr. Mr. President, Mm -hmm. So these, this is a farmers group here, um, more than one kind of farmers. You have both farmers, you have people who plant crops and stuff. Bee farmers. Bee farmers as well. <laughs> um, the goat farmers especially, they've been saying to me, Mr. Constable, how we, we see a lot of things going on with the government, bringing in animals, um, artificial insemination, um, you know, a lot of things going on in the sector redevelopment and they are saying to me, we want to be a part of this thing. I said to them, yes, the first step you have to do is become a part of the association, the Small Ruminant Association. I said to them, that's the first thing. But what ad other advice do you have to these young guys here who don't know anything about a lot of the things that's going on? Mm. So I kind of wish if know? I saw more young guys here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I only see one really and truly, <laughs> you know. And, and, and <laughs> no, we want to see more of the young people. Yes. You understand me? We want to see the 20 year old them on that side, you know, because there is so much money to be made out of farming. It's just that you have to put things in place to make the money. Yes. So, here what happened now. So, the government agency come here now and we decide to so do some AI. Right. And they go down there and see the goat them looking like that. Are they going to do AI on those animals? No. Would you spend money on that and do AI for any farmer? Would you? Can I make some? I'm asking that Lower question. No, that, that chest because we really want to get. Would you? Right would you? Would you come up here and a rather extension officer or, or any government agent come? Could I recommend and say, all right, this is a good, this is a good farmer. Mm -hmm. Let's let's make this good farmer get. Let's say they even decide to give away goat, which that is not on the table. Would you give a farmer who have the goat and cows that year? So would you give him a a, a, a goat? No. Right. You can't sustain it. Good. So, so what do they now need to do, Mr. Uh, President? So, all right. When we, when we, all right. You that give the animals them. Mm -hmm. Them not look suitable. No, think, no, it's not the, then the condition. It's not the animal, but it's the condition. But like the group now, maybe. Say for example, say five farmer with animal we would be very interested. Can help them to get the animal in a good condition and then okay that go out now and carry in whosoever can deal with it. To see the animal them and pick All see right. the so it's a lot more than seeing an animal. They need facility. Yeah. They want to see a facility. They don't want to come and see you carry the goat got tied up in the yard. 
Because guess what now? The risk is there now. Remember the government is spending their money, you know. They want value for money. They have to see value for money. You can't spend money and you're not getting value for money. They want to see a facility. It, listen, we don't talk about a hotel like you hear the people talk about, you know. You can get some stick, chop down some stick and put it up and make a gold pen. Mm -hmm. Proper. A mm. proper gold pen out of the same lumber, everything we have in the bush. They want to see that. This, look at this young man. This is a trying young mm -hmm. man. Look at what he's doing. This man here really, how them come, they're so impressed. It's not about how pretty it looks, mm -hmm. but it's about it's the functionality of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And they might come and say, why this it's man here put a little tweet. Look how him do the feed trap. Mm -hmm. Why this look innovative, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and him show you how him do him thing. Mm -hmm. And I might come, come and Mr. Come, might come and say, you know, say maybe you need it. No, 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 the extension office are people like who have a, can come and give some advice. Mm -hmm. But how we give advice down there, so? We can't give any advice. The goat don't have no water, them don't have anything. You can't, you, you, know, first. Mm -hmm. you can't invest yourself into Easy. something like that. There's no investment. Mm -hmm. They're not going to invest. So do you have anybody in this community that meet the standard that I can say, well, all right, I can, because I have that power. Yes, he's the president, guys. I have the power. I am the he's one. President. I am a part of who selected the first hundred people who got AI. I, I what is the, the AI? Yeah. Artificial insemination, okay. which is what they are doing now. Uh, okay. I, like we say, Khalil and Khalil doing it. Yes. Right. You see them. So you see the right. um, so like so like the caliber of persons that come to you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Mr. So the recommendation oh, change is what we can, want. Can Ch Chesley change the system? Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not going to happen like that because you're not ready for this yet. When, when you're coming back, I think you can get more support for the community. But what I'm getting from them is like. If they have the meeting further out in the square or near further out, they're more better to them. Yeah? You know, one of the things okay. I'm going to say to you, remember when I come here and Mr. Constable come here, you know, we don't come here for to benefit ourselves, you know. Mm -mm. It's uno want it, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't want it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I don't have to be here. I don't have to do none of this. I come here because I want farmers to learn. Right. I don't think I, if I decide to say I go and go right up on top of the hill <laughs> and then no, a man will say to me, no, you have to come down at the bottom of the so. hill as I'm so so. And me drive come up here. How much so. mice? I don't understand that. That, 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 no, I don't. I don't want it. Remember, you know, what I have is what you want. Exactly. Right. We want to inspire the change that yes, is necessary. Right, right. So, and yeah. the community, it has yeah. to come from a community. Yes. Yeah. We have to this form young clusters. Here, I trust me. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, Mr. President, that at least a couple of them, including this young man, they are listening. I see them following the page. They are listening mm -hmm. and they are taking note. And I'm going to commit this to you now that we have one in the other program, you know, one lady that is doing excellent by ourselves now but you see this young man and, and, and a few others when we come back um, in another year or two we are going to be showing the difference and what they are doing with these machines that mm -hmm. we are making available and so forth so um, programs much a lot of other programs like these are needed we alone can do it Mr. President no. we want to inspire the and, others and to we come can and only come here and inspire and tell you if you want to advice or anything we can give it to you but you want us to come up here, come cut the grass and come feed your goat them for you too? Mm -mm. Is that what you don't want? Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. it's not going to happen. Mm -mm. Spread the word and tell them. Uh. Yes, right. I, I can't be here. <laughs> and, and, and then you're going to say, and, and then this freeness mentality. Mm -hmm. Are you going to sit around and think that everybody going to carry everything to you and feed you and do everything? Mm -hmm. The freeness mentality can't work. Mm -mm. You know, have opportunities in front of you know, all day long. Opportunities are there. You know how much opportunities there are. Because I'm not going to stay here forever. forever. Somebody else <laughs> needs to get assisted somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You understand? Opportunities. The opportunities are here. I have a mission. I just go out. I do what I need to do. Well, and so. And I just move forward. Mm -hmm. When I just start to raise back voting and I get one goat, buy one goat or a small kid and like grow and I ask about six different persons when I see goat. Mm. 
Based on how them go look, mm -hmm. question them, ask them how them use, worm them, where you give them, write it down. I'm a question them, I'm ask them, I'm a, like my pick and say, alright, Sir Mac, what I want mine go them look like how Sir Mac is. Mm -hmm. I'm asking when you use, based on when you use, I realize that you spend money. The other man them tell me, so they mix up Sibla Ring and this. <laughs> and he, I was a beat to go them man to spend time with him, go them. Someone say, alright, do me some cloud. And the same thing we do with mine, go them. I just jump and say, me I go do this. You research. Ask, research and ask for a question. And based on where you want to reach, your word, and hear any man. Where you need to reach there. So, so I just feel that. You see, and if we share up, I like Madeline. Yeah, yeah, man. You have to do your research. You must follow progressive people. Right. Even on the, the YouTube thing there, Mark can tell you. Definitely want to. I don't think you get the recognition that you deserve, honestly speaking. Uh, you just said that a lot of people criticize you. And I know, I know that. It's because of the work and your own personal drive to get the grassroots people out of the situation that they're in. Why, um, you know, some people don't recognize the work that you do. So we here, as part of this farmers group here, as soon as I get the opportunity, sir, I am going to give you the commendation that I think that you deserve. Some people must recognize yes, yeah. that it's under your tenure mm -hmm. that animals come into this country mm -hmm. after how many years. Mm -hmm. That is commendable, sir. I must commend you for that. You understand? Nobody can take that away. It is under your tenure that insemination, so many insemination has happened, right? It is under your tenure that so many farmers groups are popping up mm -hmm. and coming and getting assistance i want to tell you this a lot of the inputs that i was able to pull for these community people i could not have done it without you sir you understand so a lot of people making noise don't listen to them because the function and the, the, the access that i see people get because of the work that you do the information that is shared I, I don't see what they're doing <laughs> and I just want to make it clear and I say it publicly anywhere. Mm -hmm. Alright, sir? So yes. pick up and be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. On behalf of the farmers, mm, mm, the farmers and the community groups, mm. continue the work. You and your wife. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you guys Family, are amazing. Little boys. Yes, man. <laughs> Everywhere <laughs> you see them. I don't see anybody else. Um, apart from, you know, Kalila yeah. and so forth who goes, goes out and, and assists. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we really have to um, offer our thanks. Um, to you and behalf of people like um, this young gentleman here um, and the others that are at church now. Thank mm. you very much, sir. Yes. Yeah, man, you're most welcome. And we'll post the videos in the group. So you those who are not here, good yeah, things. Right. Yes. And another thing too is that I don't really start to come out with it yet, but this was something that I'm fascinated with for a long time. And I'm act I've actually done, I, I did a, I'm doing a course on it now, so. Myself, my wife, and all my children are involved in bees now. Okay. All of that. Congratulations. I mean, you see? And you see? The great minds think alike. You see it here? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> all of this bee thing. And we have, um, Lynn, how much hive? I think we have about seven, or seven hives at home. Mm -hmm. And we didn't buy them. We um, we got wild bees hunting. It's actually become a sport for us. Wow. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Huh? So, it's a sport for us now. Mm -hmm. And... And really and truly, who love it is not really me, is she? Okay. <laughs> She's the one who really love wow. it. That, uh, two weeks ago, we just caught a hive last week. Was it last week? Yeah. No, two weeks ago. She was saying to me, you know, Daddy, I want to, we need to go catch a hive now, you know. We don't have a long time. This is like two weeks ago. Uh -huh. I said, all right, we're going to find a hive. We're going to find a hive and, and, and go extract it. Yeah, we found it and, you know, we extract wow. it. So we have been to maybe about nine and we have had about seven successful and we go as far listen i went so far with this thing that i went and buy myself a chainsaw that's how far i went with it <laughs> yeah because the tree sometimes we have to climb the tree so he missed the salmon you know he's not the crew with us yeah yeah so he works with me otherwise mm. yes. so we got bees hunting mm. and he is a party i also drag him in and he is learning too yeah. and we got bees hunting and we take out bees and we mm. do things and we're learning. And I'm telling you this, 
when you get involved into this bees thing really really if you go and take a wild bees out of a hive you learn so much from it it is really the best way to learn you yes. learn so much because after you do it you question yourself about so much things and you want to understand so, so much, much things, things right that it really pushes you to another level i mean she my wife is like a surgeon here now she mm -hmm. go in there and she cut out she cut out the brood and she, mm -hmm. she she dissect it. We use elastic band and put them inside the frame. Mm -hmm. She set them in the frame. frame. We all, I don't get involved in it. It's really she yeah. and, and them, you know. Mm. We set them in the frame. We go all in a smoke bush, cane field, people yard. Till I have people calling me out to extract bees out of bush. Wow. You understand? Mm. And to me, that's my fun part of it, yes. the extraction. Because when you go you there, buy cheap away. it's not the buy. You just don't know what to expect mm -hmm. yeah. when you're going a hive to take it out. Mm? Yeah, man, yeah, we go hunting. Yeah, man, and it really, really, really is very, yeah, so very nice. Fun, it's fun. Yeah, we get our bees out of kind of cane field. <laughs> We go back a thing there, we in a, in a fire heat thing. The, the forest would was burn it down mm -hmm. and we catch it. Oh, there. So, how you guys know where they are? Somebody people, call. I get call. Some years of people But through we in the communities, mm -hmm. we yes. went into a community and them tell us that one is there and oh, community. Yeah. And we're all over the place. Mm -hmm. You must say, I travel. And we're to bush go cut grass for the wood. Yeah. Okay. And one of the workers go around. Like and I don't want time in a sexy. Yes, you saw the I one. Say you said, Where you fly out? Where you? I said, Bees, bees. So if I go down and look and see, I said, Oh, I'm coming back for you. Yeah, man, now <laughs> so we go, we get, get them. Yeah. So we have all our tools and everything, you know. Yes. And when we go, when we go to our planning, you know, we have a planning team together. And we sit down and we sit down and we discuss it. How are we going to deal with this? Yes. And we look at it and we do everything and whatever, and then we plan how to extract them. Okay. Yeah, man. We actually go there and plan it, you know. We have mm. a cut here. All right, we have to do this. We have to clear the ground. So it's, it's like, a, you know, it's, it's really, cool. yeah, man, it's really exciting to us, yeah. and we're doing it. Yeah. And, and, and there's another thing to understand with the bees thing, Hello? too. There is a lot of wrong information out there. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are doing a lot of the bee stuff and the information out there is wrong like for example inspection of hive there are people who are saying no you only go in the hive once a year and if you open the hive and go in there all the time it's going to disturb the bees and then they're going to stop making honey mm. there's a lot of false information false information you should really be inspecting the hive maybe every 10 days yeah. and and when you go in there to me right now, I'm, I'm not that experienced because we're only doing it what two months now then mm. three four months four months now only mm. four months now since you're doing it but when we go into the hive they, them no them them they have business with us now exactly. them no swarm you go in there you check them you look at them them they are doing the, 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 the frame same way we put them in back when you go in there it's better they're doing it Yes. Better yeah, they get they used to you. Yeah, they, they get used to you. Right now, other day we go and look and he's doing up by his house. Mm. Whenever we have my bill, mm. I go and put feed in one box mm. and smoke them, lift it up. I'm gone. Take, it, take out frames and all mm. those stuff. And After they start producing only now, we're going to start we are here. They will be more defensive. No, no, we are here now. We are here now, buddy. More defensive when they have honey, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So where they, they, they pull in and all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's only some time you have it, for example. So but if you have the honey, if you have a good honey flow, you can produce, you know, a bucket or two honey at at, at any time. Mm -hmm. This this project, Mark, is just starting, yes. and this is the first investment into this project. Right. And um, this, these machines, three of them, are going to three different communities. Right. Three. What is this area called? This general area is called Brownstone. 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 Water Mount is also involved. There are people from Mendes. This is in Saint Catherine, right? In Saint Catherine, right? right. 
So we, we had a talk with the farmers here and you know, giving them advice and showing them what technology can do for them. Thanks for watching. And Mark, thank you for inviting me to this um, training session here today. It's always a pleasure. Uh, you've always given your support through the Small Women's Association of Jamaica. And generally, we just want to say thank you. All right. Please continue to subscribe to my channel. Right. Big up.